everybody. Welcome to Storm Along Storytime. My name is Tracy. I work at the Saskatoon Public Library and Saskatoon is located on Treaty 6 territory in the traditional homeland of the Métis. I'm all alone in the story room at J.S. Wood Branch Library, so why am I wearing this mask? You can take it off. <laughs> all right. As I said, welcome to Strum Along Storytime, and today we're going to be learning a very silly song by a very silly man named Rafi. And the song that we're going to be learning today on the ukulele is Spider on the Floor. We also have this uh, song available in book form from the library. Here's Spider on the Floor. It's illustrated by True Kelly with words, of course, by Rafi. It's got lots of silly illustrations in it. Ooh, lighting issue. <laughs> Anyways, we're not going to read the book. We're going to learn the song. And to do that, we need to figure out what chords we need to use. There are three chords and let's take a look at what they are. All right, the chords that we're going to be using for there's a spider on the floor. I think I might have called it There's a Spider on My Leg earlier, but it doesn't matter. It's the same song. It's all good. Either way, <laughs> the first chord we're using is a C chord, which is a pretty simple one, relatively. And these chord charts over here are really helpful in telling you where your fingers need to go on the ukulele in order to make the chords sound right. So for C, we just use one finger. It's our third finger. We're going to put it in the third fret of the first or bottom string. And it should sound like this. Okay. For the second chord, we're going to use G7, which is another common chord, especially if you've been playing along with the, these videos that Crispy and I are making, probably lots of G7s in there. And the way you do it is first finger, first fret, second string. Second finger, third string, second fret. Third finger, first string, the bottom string, also on the second fret. That's where these chord charts are super handy because it doesn't make sense when I explain it with words, really. <laughs> so use the chord chart, and once you get your fingers in the right place, it should sound like this. chord we're going to be using is an F chord. So you'll see you actually don't have to move that first finger at all. It stays right where it is in the first fret on the second string. And then you take your second finger and put it all the way on the top string or the fourth string in the second fret. And it'll sound like this. always or probably especially if you're a more beginner ukulele player just want to practice moving through those chords get comfortable and once you are we can think about playing the song together here we go all right before we play the song together, we should talk just for a little second about strumming patterns. So if you are a beginner, it is totally, completely acceptable and just as good as anything else to play the whole song using a simple down strum, just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two. do that the whole way through and it is great good job if you are a little bit more experienced you've been working on some different sort of strumming patterns give them a try do one that feels right for you and for the song it doesn't have to be exactly the one i'm going to use i always tend to go for a down down up up down up down down up up down up down sort of pattern that feels right to me so give it a try, try that one if you want. 
But again, just do the whole song like this if you want. Let's sing the song. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Who could ask for any more than a spider on the floor? There's a spider on the floor, it's on the floor. But uh-oh, it's crawling on up. Now there's a spider on my leg, it's on my leg. There's a spider on my leg, on my leg. Oh, it's really, really big, that a spider on my leg. There's a spider on my leg, it's on my leg. Now there's a spider on my stomach, on my stomach. There's a spider on my stomach, it's on my stomach. And it's just a double loving. That old spider on my stomach. There's a spider on my stomach. It's on my stomach. Now the spider's on my neck. It's on my neck. Oh, the spider's on my neck. It's on my neck. And I'm gonna be a wreck. I got a spider on my neck. There's a spider on my neck. It's on my neck. <sighs> Where's it going next? There's a spider on my face. It's on my face. There's a spider on my face. It's on my face. Oh, what a big disgrace. I got a spider on my face. There's a spider on my face. It's on my face. And I hate it. Now the spider's on my head. It's on my head. There's a spider on my head. It's on my head. And I wish that I were dead. I got a spider on my head. There's a spider on my head, it's on my head. But it jumped off. Phew. Now there's a spider on the floor, it's on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, it's on the floor. Who could ask for any more than a spider on the floor? There's a spider on the floor, it's on the floor. Thank you so much for joining me today for Strum Along Storytime. There'll be a few more Strum Along videos coming your way in April and May. So keep your eyes out for that if you want to learn some new ukulele songs. And like I said before, Spider on the Floor is available in book form. And if you want to see this book in your hands, you can put a hold on it at saskatoonlibrary.ca or to come into you a branch. Maybe they have it there. And if they don't, they can put a hold on it for you at the desk. So thank you again for joining me. And until next time, happy playing. Goodbye.